Let's do pulled pork in the arga. The arga is a fantastic way of cooking food slowly, or meat particularly slowly, um, and pulled pork is no exception. So the place to start is with a pork shoulder, I find. Pork shoulder is uh, much more responsive to slow cooking and has the right amount of fat in it and pulls apart perfectly. Um, I can only find in my local supermarket when I was shopping um, a pork shoulder that was already stuffed with apple and sage stuffing. Um, so I will actually take the stuffing out and I'll cook it separately. Normally pork shoulders quite cheap, usually I buy them for less than £4. This was just over £4 because it's slightly bigger but it was the smallest packet that they had for sale. So, first things first is to prepare the pork. And <coughs> You can either have plain pulled pork or barbecued pulled pork and you can do all sorts of exciting things and I've done both. Um, my pref preference at present is to do a plain pulled pork which I can then barbecue if I, uh, part of it if I want to make a barbecue sort of recipe and I can leave the rest of it plain if I want it um, as a more classic recipe. Um, mainly because there are only two of us living here and so we can't eat a whole one of these so it has to do several meals which therefore renders it actually very very cheap for the £4.37 that it cost me. Let's take the string because well, they have wrapped it beautifully for us in the supermarket but I'm afraid that I don't want any of that. I'm going to take off that bit of pork skin because I have no interest in eating pork crackling I'm afraid. I'm one of those heathenistic people who can't stand it. Um, off come the string. I should be able to open up this pork a bit like a book. There we are. And that's how they put it together. So here is the stuffing, which I shall take out and I'll place it gently over there, but I'm going to put it, uh, wrap it in some cling film and put it in the fridge uh, in a moment. So that's the pork. I'm not really going to do very much to it um, other than put it in my pot and cover it with some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to go wash my hands. Right, let's take the knife off and pork in. Now I would normally keep the fat side up if there was fat, but there isn't really a fat side on this, so it's just any old way that fits sensibly in the dish. So in fact I'll probably detach that little bit there, there we are, and then it fits nicely uh, in the and we just need, yes, a little bit of salt and pepper over the top, so the salt, and a little bit of pepper. Um, because there's hardly any fat on the top of this pork, I'm actually just going to help it along uh, in the oven with a little bit of uh, olive oil. I'm just going to get some. Sometimes you'll find that on the pork shoulder there is a layer of fat um, beneath the, the fake bit of skin they've put on the top. Um, but on this one there isn't, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there just to encourage it to do some browning. Um, and that's it. Sometimes I put fennel seeds. Um, today I'm not in the mood for fennel seeds, so I won't be putting those in. Um, but that's it, and it's going into the arga. Now, where and why and how long? So, I always like to start off slow cooking uh, in the roasting oven, particularly uh, with pork. The reason being that it gets the pan and the meat nice and hot and then it just carries on cooking when I then put it into the simmering oven. Um, if I put it straight in the simmering oven then it takes just that little bit longer to get going um, and it doesn't brown quite so much either. So I like to give it a blast in the roasting oven. So let me grab my trusty gauntlet, get the roasting oven open. I've got a sh uh, shelf there on the third set, uh, sorry, the fourth set of runners, and this just slides straight in. Close the door, and it will cook in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. Right, my timer has just beeped, which means that the pork has had about 22-ish minutes in the roasting oven, and actually I can smell a little bit of, uh, of pork going on. So let's have a look at it. Um, one thing I neglected to mention um, when I put it in is that um, I put it in the roasting oven without a lid um, for that little glass, just so that the meat can get properly browned. There we are, it's just 
starting to release some of its juices uh, and brown a little bit. So I'm going to put the lid on, clamp that on. Go with my roasting oven. And then into the simmering oven it goes. Because this is a four oven arga, my simmering oven is on the top left. Um, make sure my lid's clamped on, put the lid on in the oven, on the floor of the oven, anywhere, it doesn't really matter in the simmering oven where you put things. I'm going to leave the pork in the simmering oven for about four to five hours, um, six, seven would also be fine, but I've only got about five hours before I need to eat it, um, by which point it should be nice and soft and we should be able to pull it apart um, with some forks. So we'll have a look at it in about five hours time. Right, so the pork has had, pork shoulder has had about four hours um, in the simmering oven, so let's have a look to see whether it's now pullable. It's definitely cooked, it's nice and brown, um, it's let out quite a bit of its fat and liquid, and does it pull? That's the key question. And yes, it most definitely does. Look at that, it shreds beautifully. So I'm now going to put this on to a uh, big plate and then I'm going to shred the whole thing uh, just using two forks just like that um, and that is okay that is pulled pork um, what I do with it from this stage is I can either serve it as it is um, for a Sunday lunch kind of meal um, or I can um, take some of it mix it with some barbecue sauce um, and have it as some sort of barbecue meal, so perhaps in a bun uh, with some coleslaw, that sort of thing, to make a lovely pulled pork bun. Um, or, as I'm going to be doing tonight, I'm going to use it for pulled pork burritos. Um, so I've got some rice um, now cooking in the simmering oven um, after bringing it to the boil on the boiling plate, and uh, I've got some uh, black beans from a can, and I'm going to make some burritos out of them. And here we have a final little close-up just to prove that the whole pork shoulder has successfully shredded itself to being pulled pork. And I've even separated the fat out to just a tiny little pile there, um, which uh, I will uh, put in the bin. So nice and healthy as well. My mother will be very happy. Um, I hope you enjoy when you make your pulled pork.